Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and as you can see, we have a Google Pixel 3 XL in stock right over here. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unbox this product. I'm gonna actually turn it on for the first time and do a first time setup and also do a software review of the Google uh, Pixel 3 XL. So let's get started. Let's all lift up the box and see what's inside. So it's easy to open, and there's the Google Pixel 3 XL. And of course, I'm gonna pull this out, and I'm gonna put it aside for one second. Uh, this one is gonna have a notch, so we're gonna turn on the phone and see what that looks like. Uh, let me press the power button here. It's a nice little green button over here that gives us some nice styling. And let's just put this to the side. Let's press this one more time to power it on. All right, so there's the notch. We're gonna put it aside for a minute, and let's see what's in the box, so let's lift this up. Uh, first, we have the user guide and the SIM ejection uh, tool over here. So that's in this box. We're going to put that aside as well. Uh, over here, we have the Pixel 3 uh, earbuds. So it's a little box that opens up, okay, like a book. And inside, you have the Pixel earbuds. And of course, this does have a USB Type-C connector that plugs into the bottom of the Pixel 3 uh, because the Pixel 3 does not have a uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, in the box, we do have an adapter. So if I grab this guy here real quick, right over here, uh, this is a USB Type-3, uh, a USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that plugs in right here and you can plug in any uh, speakers that you want over there. We also have the cable. You've got another adapter here that allows you to plug in a regular USB thing into this guy. And of course, we've got the power brick inside here uh, to charge your Pixel. Okay, so we're gonna keep this in here uh, and let me move all these things aside and take a look at the Pixel really quick and see what we have. All right, so here's our Pixel 3 XL phone. It's turned on, and this is just a regular turn on. When you turn it for the first time, this is exactly what you see. Uh, but let's do a quick tour around the device. Now, first and foremost, the notch is obvious. It's huge and it's there, okay? But it does have a large and vibrant screen and a little bit of a chin at the bottom over here. So let's look at the back over here. So on the back, we have that camera and we have the LED flash right next to it. And that's the 12.2 uh, megapixel camera, which is a fantastic camera that we know for sure. And over here, we have the actual fingerprint sensor. And on the back, we have a logo and nothing else. Okay, now this is a two-tone color design. So you have white on the top and white on the bottom. Uh, but it's been uh, the camera has been compartmentalized onto the top here while the fingerprint sensor resi resides on the second uh, side of the uh, cut over here. Okay, And then on this side of the phone, we have absolutely nothing. All right, this is a clear side. And of course, on the bottom, we've got the USB Type-C port uh, and the SIM card uh, tool, uh, SIM card location, so USB port and the SIM card. On this side, like I said, we have the power button right over here. It's a green power button that looks pretty nice. And here we have the volume rocker, volume down, volume up. Uh, on the top here, we have the uh, microphone, all right? And of course, we've got the notch on the front. But uh, we do have two front-firing stereo speakers, one at the bottom here, all right, right here, and one on the top right over there. So at least you get stereo speakers that fire from the front side. Uh, they still do not sound as good as the ones on the Note 9 or the iPhone XS Max, but they still sound pretty good, they're pretty loud, and they get the job done. All right, so let's actually go ahead and click Start over here and walk through the first time setup process and do a software overview of the Pixel. All right, so let's get started. Let's tap on the Start button, see what happens. Uh, it wants me to connect to a mobile network. I'm gonna skip that for now and connect to a Wi-Fi instead. So let's just pick a Wi-Fi location over here. Let's tap on this guy. So we're connecting to that and it's gonna be checking for updates. There might be a little updates. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to get them done. Uh, as you can see, it is saying installing updates. So that should be done very quickly. And of course, we're good to go. So it wants me to copy apps and data from a previous backup of a smartphone. I'm gonna click on don't copy and start a fresh device. So let's tap on don't copy. And of course, the next thing is it wants me to sign into a Google account, which I'm gonna do right away to activate all the services. All right, so we just did that and let's keep going on. And now it wants me to accept all the terms for the Google services. I'm just gonna enable everything, click on accept, uh, click on accept one more time. And then it wants me to set up the fingerprint sensor, which I'm also gonna skip right now, but it's an option you can do at the initial setup process. So let's just skip this one. 
Uh, I'm also going to skip the pin for now and then skip anyway. And then it wants me to go ahead and set up the remaining settings to make pixel mine. So I'm going to click on continue. And the first thing it's going to ask me to do is to actually enable the voice match for saying, OK, Google to the actual smartphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on I agree and my account should already be set up. So it's, so it's going to say I'm all set, already set up and click on continue. And then you have the option to uh, actually set up the squeeze functionality. So if you if you squeeze the bottom half of your pixel from both sides, it brings up Google Assistant. OK, now I'm going to show you how to do this, but I'm going to do it later. First, let's finish this uh, initial setup process. Tap on do it later. And then I'm going to make sure that the always on display is in fact enabled. And then uh, it's giving me the options to finish anything else over here. I'm going to skip all this. Just no thanks. And now we're going to go to the actual main screen. OK, so there is the Pixel 3 XL uh, in its full glory. All right, so real quick, let's take a look. Let's launch a couple applications over here. Let me just launch a bunch of applications. I'm just going to show you guys the basics of navigation. So what you can do is you can swipe up a little bit and that brings up the multitasking pane. That's a new uh, feature in Android 9.0. It can swipe over to pick one of these guys. And if you don't need one of these guys, you can swipe them away. OK, it's almost like an iPhone over here. And then if you tap this, it takes you back into the home button. If you swipe all the way up, if you swipe here and stop, it brings up the pane. You can continue going up from here and go to your full apps. All right. And if you were just at the home screen, you can swipe right up and boom, you're, you're in your applications. Let me just do that one more time, just like that. All right. OK, and on the top, you have the notifications panel. Uh, you can pull from here, from this side of the notch, from the notch or the other side of the notch, anywhere that you want. But then we have the we have the quick toggles right over here. Uh, if you have any notifications, they're going to show up right there. And then if I tap on this, it takes me into the actual settings that we're going to look at in a minute. Uh, but that's the basics of the pixel. And of course, I can tap and hold on the screen and that allows me to go to the home settings, uh, go to the widgets or the wallpapers. Let's tap on home settings really quick. And these are all the options that I have with the home settings. Now let's go into the actual settings. And I want you guys to observe the notch as I navigate the phone. Now, in my case, I'm not a big fan of the notches. So as I traverse the phone and see the notch sticking out from the top, I am getting a little bit angry over here. Uh, I wish they hadn't done this on such an expensive smartphone, which is $900. But beyond the notch, this is just a regular Pixel phone that is fast, that is snappy, and that has a great camera. Okay, so let's all look around a little bit. So let's just go to the display real quick. Uh, you have the brightness lever, you have the night light option. You can disable or enable this if you want. And you get these uh, nice color tones that reduce the pressure on your eyes. Let's go back. You've got the adaptive brightness setting over here. OK, so let me just disable the adaptive brightness and just keep it the way it is right now. Uh, it's at 71 percent. Uh, of course, the wallpapers, I do like the living universe wallpapers uh, such as this one over here. That looks absolutely gorgeous and they all animate. OK, so we have these new guys over here that look really, really nice. Let me tap on this guy. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's keep it at this one uh, because I do like nature. OK, so let's click on set wallpaper, go back home and that's what it's going to look like. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right. Let's go back into the settings, go back to display. And then, of course, if you tap on advance, we have the uh, basics over here. We also have the ambient display, which is the always on display. If it is, in fact, enabled, I can close the phone and it's going to show up on the screen, as you can see. All right. Uh, it looks really nice. It gives you nice information as your phone is turned off. Now to wake up the phone, you can double tap on the screen and then just swipe to unlock and we're right back in that settings menu. And then uh, let's go down over here. Actually, let's look at the device theme. So you can tap this guy. You can pick a dark theme for your device. And when you pull down the notifications panel, it's going to be blacked up. All right. And tap it again, go back to automatic based on wallpaper, which is going to be light in this case because it is not a dark wallpaper. So let's go back over here. And the one other thing I'm going to show you guys here is the system and gestures. So basically, I told you about squeezing your phone from the sides at the bottom half of the device when you're holding it like this, which is going to bring up the uh, Google Assistant to help you out. So I can tap on this guy. And I can actually uh, modify the squeeze sensitivity. So I can do a light squeeze or a firm squeeze. Let's keep it at light. 
Uh, I can actually squeeze for the assistant. I can enable or disable this option. I can allow this squeeze to happen even when the screen is off on the smartphone. And I can also squeeze for silence in case I want to silence alarms, timers, notifications, or any incoming call. Just squeeze to uh, push them away. And of course, some of the other gestures that we have over here, we have the swipe fingerprint for notifications. So if you enable this and swipe down on the actual fingerprint sensor, it's going to give you uh, access to your notifications panel. And then you have jump to camera, double tap the power button to enable the camera. And over here, you can actually flip the camera by shaking the device a little bit while you're in the camera. Okay, so let me show you how what those gestures look like in real life. All right, so here's the gestures. If I squeeze the phone really quickly, it's going to bring up the Google Assistant into which I can start to talk and get some answers. Okay, so just squeeze the phone and it's going to do that for you. Also, if somebody calls you, if somebody sends you a notification, if you're seeing an alarm, you can also squeeze the phone to dismiss those notifications. And on the back, we have the fingerprint gesture. So if I swipe down on the fingerprint, it brings off the... Uh, actual notifications panel. If I swipe one time, it, it brings up the notifications. If I swipe it one more time, it expands the quick toggles. Alrighty. And then finally, if I double tap the power button really quickly, it launches the camera so I can actually take pictures on the go really quickly. So those are some fantastic options. Now, one more thing I like is if you press and hold the power button, you get a little menu on the side that allows you to power off, restart, or take a screenshot using your device. All right, let's uh, move on. All right, so that's basically the story on the Google Pixel 3 XL. Of course, the notch is the big thing that sticks out to you. Uh, otherwise, this is a very fast, very snappy smartphone with nice uh, navigation-based gestures. So, I mean, gesture-based navigation system here. Uh, again, if you don't want something, you just get rid of it. Uh, you can bring it up very easily. App drawer, uh, the panels over here, and of course, the settings. Uh, which is full of nice, useful, and uh, light-duty uh, features. And of course, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And of course, let me know down in the comment sections if you're getting a Pixel 3 or a Pixel 3 XL. All right, have a good day.